If you have chronic unexplained knee pain for no reason, then watch this video so you can understand a different perspective as to maybe what the cause of this knee pain may be. Hey, I'm Dr. Sam McDonald, brain health expert, helping you rewire your brain so you can live a better life. If you love this content, make sure to like and subscribe so you get the notifications for each week's new video. So if you have chronic knee pain, then, and without any particular incidents, meaning you didn't you know, jam it on anything, there's no particular injury, there's no damage to the tendons or ligaments or anything like that, then what could be causing this problem is the actual nerves that communicate to the knee. So understand, in your spine, the bones in your back, they surround your spinal cord, and outside of the spinal cord come all the different nerves in the low back, they communicate from the hips all the way down to your toes and your feet. So the low back communicates down into the knee, and when there are particular problems in the spine, this can cause referral pain into the hip, down to the knee joint, and even down into the foot. So out of each particular part of the spine, you have these different nerve bundles, right? We have our L1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all these different particular nerve bundles. Each of these nerve bundles or nerve roots, they all communicate nine different nerve fibers. Two of those communicate pain. So only 20% of the equation is actually communicating pain. The other 80% is communicating things like temperature, light touch, vibration, and movement of the muscles. Now why this is really important is if no one's ever done an evaluation on your knee, you could have damage to these other nerve fibers and not have any knee pain. Or you could have damage to all these nerve fibers and also have knee pain. Why this is really important, particularly because when the nerve fibers that communicate to the muscles, when they start to atrophy and die, they're no longer communicating to the actual muscles supporting the knee joint. This causes the joint to accelerate in its degeneration. Neurologically, why this is also important is because these nerves communicate back up into the spine or they fire back up into the spine and they fire into an area of the spine called lamina 2 and this inhibits pain at the spinal cord level. Really important because this shuts off pain down at the knee joint and it's our first line of defense here. This then communicates up into the brain where it's also going to give your brain a sense of where the knee joint's at, it's called proprioception. When that proprioception starts to get damaged, again, the brain can no longer coordinate the firing of the muscles appropriately, which means that joint is gonna to start to wear down even faster on top of just the local problem here. So now the brain's not communicating that to the joint properly. And also, when the brain's not getting that necessary, what's called afferent information, you're also gonna feel more pain. This is another layer up here where it's also inhibiting pain of what's going on down into the knee. So what's really important to understand is you need to have proper nerve communication down to the knee all the way up into the brain. Second thing you need to consider is your metabolic health. If you're overweight, diabetic, pre-diabetic, uh, any other types of inflammation type problems, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, anything like that, metabolics are also going to have a huge impact on what's going on down in the knee and communicating with pain. So when inflammation starts to get out of control, when you have problems with something like leaky gut, this can cause inflammatory markers in the body to accelerate and to inflate. This can then, in turn, if this is happening long enough, the body can actually go into an autoimmune state where it starts to attack the actual nerve fibers that communicate this entire pathway I just went through, which is gonna cause an increase in pain as well. So it can be neurological, it can be metabolic, oftentimes it's both. So you need to get the nerve fibers communicating again. So you need to make sure you're going to a doctor who's actually looking at the nerve communication to the knee. They're doing a full evaluation in terms of head to toe, looking at how the entire nervous system is functioning. And then they gotta look at your metabolic system as well. Because if they're not looking at the metabolics, if they're not looking at the nervous system, the structure, the muscular system, everything, and you have somebody who's really just functioning more in a reductionist type mindset, they're just looking at the knee, they may be just giving you things like pills, injections, um, even manual types of therapy in terms of just working the muscles around the joint and they're not taking a holistic view and looking at how you're functioning as a person to get you the best results you absolutely can. So make sure you're going to a doctor who's looking at you as a whole, not just is myopically looking at that knee joint and ignoring the rest of this information and the bigger picture. So on that note, you should be healthy by choice, not by chance. And for that reason, I will see you on the next video.